Hey guys, welcome to another computer graphics tutorial. Today we'll be learning about 2D transformation in computer graphics and we'll learn about scaling. So let's get started. What are we going to learn today? First we'll look at introduction to 2D scaling in computer graphics. Then we'll learn what is uniform scaling and what is differential scaling. And finally, we'll look at examples of 2D scaling, one for uniform scaling and one for differential scaling. All right. So first thing, introduction to 2D scaling in computer graphics. Till now, we have learned about two different types of 2D transformation. First, we learned about translation, then we learned about rotation. Now we are learning about scaling. So a scaling transformation alters the size of the objects in computer graphics. In translation, we change the position of the object. In rotation, we change the angle with the help of pivot point and the angle that is provided and we change the angle of the object. And similarly, in terms of scaling, what we change? We change the or alter the size of the object. All right. Now, scaling operations can be carried out by multiplying the scaling factors. OK, we have got scaling factors that is SX and SY. OK, and we can multiply them with the coordinate values of each vertex of the polygon. So, for example, if the coordinate values of the points are two and three and the scaling factors or the scaling vectors, you can call them. If they are SX is equal to two and SY is equal to two, then we just multiply them. So we'll get the new X coordinate as X multiplied by X. That is we have got over here. Uh, let's just yeah. So we have got our coordinate values are two and three. That is x coordinate is two and s x that is scale vector of two is two. So two multiplied by two we get four. And similarly y coordinate is three and s y that is scaling factor of y coordinate is two. So we get three multiplied by two we get six. So the new coordinate values are x dash and y dash are four comma six. OK, so this is how we get the new values for your coordinates by multiplying them with the scaling factor SX and SY. All right. So this was just a basic simple example. Now, what is uniform scaling? So when a scaling factor SX and SY are equal, then we call that scaling operation uniform scaling. OK, and uniform scaling is used to maintain the aspect ratio of the original shape of the object. Now, we'll look at an example to understand what is uniform scaling. So let's say we have got a line over here. And the coordinates for these lines are 1 comma 2 and 4 comma 2. That is, these are the two endpoints, 1 comma 2 and 4 comma 2. All right. Now, the SX and SY value, that is scaling factors, are 2 and 2. That is, SX and SY both are same, 2 and 2. Okay. So that's why it's called uniform scaling. And what is the formula we have learned for the new coordinates? X dash is equal to X multiplied by SX and Y dash is equal to Y multiplied by SY. So we have got in first point, let's say, we'll call it A. Okay. Let's call this point A and this point B. Okay. Now, in terms of A, the X value is 1 and SX value is 2. Okay. And the Y value is 2 and SY value is also 2. So the new values are going to be X dash is going to be for A. Okay. For A, X dash is going to be 1 multiplied by 2 that is equal to 2. And Y dash is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 that is y into sy okay it's going to be 4 so the new values for a are going to be 2 comma 4 now similarly for point b we have got the x coordinate multiplied by sx now x coordinate for b is 4 so 4 multiplied by sx is 2 that is equal to 8 and y dash that is a new y coordinate for b is going to be 2 multiplied by 2 that is y into sy so 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to 4 so that's why b new coordinates for b are going to be 8 comma 4 okay so the new position is going to be 2 comma 4 and 8 comma 4 and this is how the new line after scaling or uniform scaling is going to look like okay so this was the example for uniform scaling all right now what about differential scaling so unequal values of sx and sy will result in something known as differential scaling okay and differential scaling is used in designing applications where uh, from few basic shape a picture is constructed so if you are given a basic shape let's say like a square then you can construct other pictures from it for example you can construct a rectangle from a square by using differential scaling so we'll look at an example to understand the meaning of this okay so let's say yeah first the let's say the scaling 
factors or scaling factors are sx equal to 2 and sy equal to 1 so this is differential scaling that's why the scaling uh, factors are different all right now and what is the formula for our calculation that is new coordinate values are going to be x multiplied by sx and y dash is equal to y multiplied by sy now let's draw a square first okay so let's say first coordinate is going to be 1 Let's draw a square over here. With just length of one. Okay, so each side is of length one over here, and we have got first coordinate that is a as one comma two, one comma two. Then we have the next coordinate as two comma two. Next coordinate that is c is going to be three. Uh, sorry, just a second. It's It has to be yeah. The next coordinate is going to be one comma three, one comma three, and the fourth coordinate over here is going to be three. Uh, it's two comma three. Okay, so one comma three, two comma three, one comma two, two comma two. Okay, now. If we use scaling vector, and we have to find the new values for each coordinate. So let's start with point A over here. We'll call this point A, this B, this is C, and this is D. Okay. Now we'll just change the color of the pen so that it looks better. Yeah. All right. So let's say our first coordinate, A, the x dash is going to be one multiplied by two, that is equal to two, and y dash is equal to Two multiplied by one, two multiplied by one equal to two. So a is equal to two comma two. Let's draw it. So this is point a. Two comma two. All right. Then we have got point b over here. Now point b again we use the same formula. X dash is equal to x multiplied by s x and y dash is equal to y multiplied by s y. So for b we have got. Mm, X dash is equal to two multiplied by two, that is equal to four, and y dash is equal to two multiplied by what is s y? It is one, so it is going to be two. That's why b is equal to four comma two. All right, so it is four over here and two. So this is point b. Four comma two. For C point C, it is one comma three. Let's change the color here. Let's use blue. Okay. Now for point C, we have got one comma three, right? So S, uh, sorry, yeah, X dash is equal to X multiplied by S X. So that is X dash is equal to what is the X coordinate? It is one. Multiplied by s x is two, so one multiplied by two is going to be two, and y dash is equal to y that is three multiplied by one, so it is three multiplied by one, it is going to be three. So that's why c is equal to two comma three, so two comma three over here. So this is point c, and we'll call it two comma three. All right, and the next coordinate is. Point D over here. Okay, so point D, we have the coordinates two comma three. Now for point D, let's write. Yeah, the x dash is equal to two multiplied by s x is two. So two into two is equal to four, and y dash is equal to three multiplied by one. That is three. So three multiplied by one. That is equal to three. So D is going to be four comma three. So this is the fourth position and third position. Oh yeah. So this is point D, four comma three. Now once we plot all these four vertices, then we can just draw the lines. That is one, two, three, and four. So what was a square over here has become a rectangle over here. Correct. So this is how we use differential scaling for drawing a picture with some basic shape like squares or circle. Okay. So I hope you got this concept. If you have any queries, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Thank you very much.
So that's it for today guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any queries, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions, please write them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.